Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the third in a series of video tutorials on how to make a first person shooter in Unity 5. So carrying on from the last episode where we played around with a little bit of physics of our crates here, uh, we put the texture on the floor, this episode we're going to look at kind of quickly creating a little room, putting in our first person view as well as a gun. So firstly what I'm going to do is as we've done up until now to create a new object uh, we're gonna, at this time I'm going to go over here in the hierarchy 3D object and cube and as you can see it's called cube yet again however the position has now changed so as always what we'll do is 0 0 0 on the position and that is now put it dead center which we do want so holding control, I'm going to drag it up, 2, so now it's at position 1, let's see if that looks okay, yep that looks fine. So I'm going to create this now as a wall. So firstly I want to move it over this way, and I'm going to extend it on the Z or Z, and let's put this as, let's say, 20. And let's also put the height as, uh, in fact, let's have this a bit smaller. Let's put just 10 for now. And as you can see, we have started a bit of a wall going on here. However, this wall is intersected. If we move down here, you can see the wall falls below our floor. So let's move this upwards as soon as it's flush with the floor. So holding control, snap it up. Oh, one, two, many. There we go. So now it's against the floor. And that actually looks a little too high, so I'm actually going to put it as, let's put it as 5 of the wall, and let's bring it back down onto the floor. Okay, so if you remember, we uh, pulled these textures onto the crates, but we created a material for the floor. So what I'm going to do is, in our materials, I'm going to right click, create, and I'm going to go down to material. I'm going to call this one. Um, wall underscore uh, let's think 10 x 5 now the reason we've put that is because we're going to have a few different wall materials and as I did say in the last tutorial unity is not a uh, modeling program and realistically if you want uh, anything decent you probably have to model so uh, I do recommend possibly a Blender tutorial or 3D Studio Max. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to take this wall, 002, and much the same way we did with the floor, drag and drop over here of this little square. And then the material that we created, drag and drop onto our wall. So it has stretched the texture, as you can see just there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the tiling. So let's change this to 10 and change this to 5. So now you can see why it's 10 by 5. Now I'm going to take that wall and I'm going to duplicate it by holding control and pressing D and I'm going to drag it this way to the other side. I think we could do with uh, shrinking the size on the uh, x-axis because it does look pretty thick for a wall. So let's put this as 0 0.25 and I'll do with the same on this one. 0.25. Okay, one last thing. Let's take this, hold control, press D to duplicate once more and let's rotate it on the y-axis by 90 degrees. So now we have the wall on this side. So now let's just put it into place. Remember holding control to use your snap settings makes everything a bit easier. So let's take this wall and move it to there. Okay so now we have sort of a room appearing. It's not fantastic but it is absolutely a start. Uh, we still have this wall, 001, and what I think I'm going to do with this is I'm going to 
Right. I'll take this and make a long wall along here. So let's take this one at the back, control D to duplicate and let's bring it over here and uh, let's go to material, right click, create, material, let's call this um, wall 2 underscore um, let's have this as six by three just as an example and then as we have done drag and drop this wall over there and let's set the tiling as six by three and let's drag onto there so depending on how this tutorial goes from here I may decide to change the wall a little bit as originally I did want a kind of a tiling at the bottom of the floor and then the actual, sorry, a tiling at the bottom of the wall and then the wall itself. So I, I may quickly do that now and let's see uh, where we go with that one. So down here I'm going to create another one. Right click, create, material, let's call this lower wall underscore uh, let me think what would be a good one. Let's have this as 10 by 10, I think. So I'm actually going to drag this tile 001 the floor onto here. I'm going to duplicate this wall, drag it upwards to about there, and then drag lower wall onto there. And then let's change this to 10 by 10. And um, in fact, what we'll do is we will decrease the size of this. So let's decrease that to 2. Let's pull it flush with the floor and pull this wall flush with the lower wall. Now I will show you that in just a second when we get our character in, but the idea of it, it looks a little bit more like the thumbnail of the video of the video for this series okay so our next thing to do is we need our first person player in there so let's put him in now if you go to your assets here right click and import package hopefully you should have some uh, options here if not head over to the unity 3d website and on there you can download something called standard assets that is where you will be able to download and install these packages. So once you've got them in, click on characters. And it will take just a couple of seconds just to kind of decompress there. Once it's done, you can then click on import. It will now import just a couple of assets. Rather than create our own um, character, what's great about Unity is that it's already pre-built in. So we don't have to actually go to the effort of trying to create something when it's already there. So as you can see it's taking just a couple of seconds to import. It is also importing a third person character which we're not going to deal with in this tutorial as that would defeat the object of a first person shooter. Once uh, we have imported our character here everything gets a little bit easier for us because then we spend a bit more time up here in this game section. So we're nearly there now, we're nearly imported. Just another couple of seconds. Okay, there we go. So we're imported and down here you've now got this standard assets folder with an arrow next to it. So if you click the standard assets folder and go down to characters and then hopefully you'll have this first person character right here. In this prefabs folder you'll have two. It's the first one that is named fpscontroller.prefab. Now the great thing about this is you can just drag and drop straight into your scene. Nothing extra is required. I'm going to zero out the position so as he's nice and center of our scene and this camera I'm now going to delete it. The reason I delete it is because the first person controller actually has a camera set in it ready. So let's 
pull our character out of the ground. Hopefully he's uh, not too much in the ground. There we go, he's now above ground. And now, for the first time, let's press play. And we can walk around in our scene. So using the WASD keys, or you could use your arrow keys, and the mouse moves around your view. So now we're walking around in first person. And hopefully we can now push these crates as we put the um, physics on them last time. They can be moved. So you can use that for different things. That's now over there. So, that's all good and well. What we need to do now is press play again to stop and we're back into our scene. We have a couple of objects here that we need to rename just to keep things neat and tidy. We'll do that in just a second. What we're going to do first is in the, um, here in the assets, right click, create folder. And I'm going to call this folder objects. And this folder will contain any objects we import, for example, the gun. So this folder is our asset for the gun. You can find it on our website if you head to the uh, website in the description below. Just drag and drop it into Unity. It'll take just a second to import. And then in there, you'll find this this little asset called m9.3ds. What you need to do is if you go to your FPS controller, which should be blue, I would hope, click the arrow, and then on first person character, drag and drop this asset to there. You'll see we now have a rather large gun in the middle of our scene. So let's zero out the position. One thing to note, when you zero out this position, it will zero it out on its parent object, in this case, first person character. So if the first person character was over here, for example, by this wall, then the gun itself would zero out on the axis of that first person character over here. So the gun itself would be here. So now we need to scale our gun. It needs to be decreased because it is far too big for what we want. So let's think of a decent number to put. Let's try 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 by 0 0.2, keeping it in proportion. Still far too big. Let's try smaller. Let's try 0 0.09 by 0 0.09 by 0 0.09. Okay, so that gun looks a bit better, but we need to kind of put it into perspective a little so we can see how it looks. So selecting this tool, let's drag the gun using the blue arrow this way a little and press play. So our gun is still far, far too big. So let's hit stop. We need to decrease it some more. So 0 0.05. In fact, we'll do 0 0.04. Just a bit of trial and error. You'll be doing that quite a lot in Unity. It's uh, trial and error. The reason being is nothing ever goes well first time, unfortunately. Any um, game development studio would tell you that. So let's press play again, see where our gun ends up now. Okay, so we're looking a bit better. So it looks like we have to move our gun. Down, um, oops, wrong. Make sure you have the gun selected there. Move it down. I'm going to move it cross a little. Now you'll notice I've not actually got control held down here. I don't want to snap it. We want to move it just gently. So let's have a look at how that looks. Okay, we're getting that. Let's pull it down a little more. And now I want to rotate on the y-axis just a little. So as it's kind of... Uh, in fact, do we really need to rotate it? I think it might do as it is. Yeah, in fact, I think we'll keep that as it is there. So now we're wandering around with our gun. Okay, so as I say, it's starting to look a little bit more like a first person shooter now. 
not fantastic, but it's getting there. Um, what I'm going to do now is before we end this tutorial, let's quickly tidy up what we've got here. So let's start with this wall here. So I'm going to right click, rename, lower wall, oops, spell lower correct, wall 001. And I'm going to rename this, uh, rename wall 001. And I'm going to drag and drop this onto wall 001. This couples it together, so we can move the two walls together without having to move. For example, if we move that there, just the lower part of the wall moves. If we actually have this selected, all of the wall moves. That's Control Z or Z there to undo the move. And even though we created these walls before, I'm just going to delete them because I, I quite like this wall here. So Control D to duplicate, pull out this way. Uh, pull to there and once again I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees to get it how we had it before and pull it into position which is about there okay so I, I, I like that a little bit more but let's quickly arrange the size because it's a bit too far there. So let's select this wall and snap it to there and let's quickly check the other side. That looks fine. Okay so now we have a first person area. In fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly rename this parent object as wall 2 and this as wall 3. I'm going to close them. And this one, if you remember, was this wall over here. So I'm just going to rename this one wall 004. OK, so we'll leave that tutorial there for now. Uh, next episode, we're going to be writing some scripts. Uh, we're going to be playing a little bit with light and we're going to be doing some animation. Because when we press play, we just move the gun and the gun doesn't really do anything. So we want the gun to animate when we fire it and also hopefully make a sound. So until the uh, next episodes, have a play around, build up your level doing this, and just have a good time in Unity. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.